y'all. Welcome back to Ground and Growing and Gardening. It is the 29th of December um, and I'm going to do something real simple and real quick. Um, if you can see in this bed, there's already some asparagus that has germinated from some seeds that were on my plant that were left. And this bed has been gone through by the chickens. Um, I always have a lot of grass to pull out of these beds. Um, it's, you know, years of trying to get grass out of this area and I'm sure it will continue. But I'm gonna put out, Bella, no, get out of the garden. Bella, no, go, go, come here, come here, come here. Thank you, out of the garden, thank you. But all I'm gonna be doing today is putting out a few seeds. Um, these are onions. Um, there are a few little desert sage seeds in here um, and some purple basil. So it's way too early for the basil, but I'm just gonna, I just threw a few in here just to see what would happen. Um, and the onions and the sage are from plants that I had that are gone now, but I harvested seed from them. And so I'm gonna try to regrow and I'm just gonna put them all kind of out in a couple of these little triangles in this bed and maybe just one and just let them start to seed. I'm gonna just throw a little bit of store-bought soil on top and leave them alone. Super, super easy, yeah? Lazy gardening, gardener, garden, gardening, gardener, lazy gardener. <laughs> So, I could probably bring in two more inches of compost, but my intention is to be able to lay a new cardboard layer this season and put a lot of compost on that, probably later in the spring, summer. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as is, at least in this space. I don't know if you can see me, probably not. And so, like I said, it's just a little bowl full of seeds. There are some onion hole, seed holes in here, so it's okay. But I'm just gonna, whoop, those seed holes are, are flying away, the packaging that the seeds were in. And I'm just gonna throw these down. Like that, I'm done. I'm just gonna bring some soil in, throw it on top. Gardening shouldn't be so hard. People make it so hard. It should not be so hard. garlic with me. There's garlic all over the yard, um, all over the garden, but garlic is a really good deterrent for uh, things that like to eat your plants. So I really am not super concerned about this growing as much as I am. It kind of deterring things from taking my seeds. So I'm just going to go around the outside edges of the garden. I'm not even measuring. I'm just barely sticking those on the ground. So that's not how you would normally do garlic, right? Normally you want your garlic to be two to four inches deep. You want it to be uh, six to four to six inches apart make sure it has plenty of seed or spacing to grow. Okay. 
but I'm really just putting this out here to kind of deter other things from coming in and taking out my seeds that I just planted. Some of these aren't really any good. They sat too long. Some of them are already starting to sprout, which is okay. Like I said, we're just gonna throw some in here. Kind of to create a little barrier and give a little deterrent from squirrels and mice and such coming in here and taking taking my seeds away before they get they have time to get started. I've been gardening since 2016 and I'm still learning. So one thing I have learned is that the easier I make it on myself, the more likely I am to come back and do it again. So if it fails, it fails. It's not a big deal. Those were free seeds. Um, came off my own plants. This garlic is my garlic from my garlic haul last year. And uh, everything will either grow or it won't grow. But listen, I didn't plant this asparagus. I planted like six asparagus heads three years ago. And this year I got to eat about five asparagus. But what I left gave me a dozen or so new, new plants. And the same thing will continue to happen. And in 10 years, this whole area, this big circular oct octagonal bed will be a um, huge asparagus plot, right? Just let it go. I let it do what it wants to do. And I am grateful for what I get. All right. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to stay grounded, keep growing, and water yourself. Thank you for being here.